simple tutorial on how to share files across devices with Sharic. For those who use iPhone devices and want to transfer files between the iOS and Linux platform. I've done my research and I've seen that on YouTube there is not a single tutorial that shows you how to transfer files between these two platforms. So today I'll be showing you how to do that through Sharik. So Sharik is a simple application that is available on basically all the platforms but today I'll be showing you through Linux and iOS. So head to the Linux section and we just want to install it from the Snap Store. So to install it, just hit the install button and copy this command and paste it into the command line. Enter your password and it should begin installing. So while that is installing, you can open up your iPhone device and you can head to the App Store. On the App Store, search for Sharik and click on the second option, Sharik File Sharing via Wi-Fi and simply install it. It will only take a few seconds to install and the size is only 45 MB so it will only take a very minimal amount of storage on your device. So as you can see, we have installed the Sharik application on both the desktop and our iPhone. So just open up the application on both of the devices. And on our iPhone, you can see that it's asking us to select a language. So I'll select English. So let's select a file on our desktop and send it to our iPhone. So first we will try a PDF file. And on our iPhone, you can see in the bottom, the third icon, just click it, which is a receiver icon. And allow it to connect to devices on your local network. So it will take a few seconds to receive the PDF. You can see that we have received the PDF, so just select it. And over here, we can just download it to our files. So save to files and save it on my iPhone. And now let's head over to our files app. And you can see that the PDF has been successfully transferred. So I'll just open up the PDF file on our desktop to show you that it is the same PDF. So as you can see, we have the same PDF right here. Now we can try transferring a file from our iPhone to our Linux desktop. Let's go into the gallery and let's select this penguin photo. And on our desktop, let's click the same receiver button. And you can see that the image is showing straight away. So it will ask us to save the image. And now let's open it up to see if it is the same image. So as you can see, we are we have the penguin on our desktop and we also have the same penguin in our photos on our iPhone. So it has been successfully transferred. You can also transfer many other files, such as zip files uh, and GIF or GIF, 
and you can also transfer over text. So now let's open up the Sharik app. And let's try transferring a GIF or a GIF file to our iPhone. So I have this GIF file on my Linux desktop, which I'll select and I'll show you how the GIF looks like. And now we'll just click the receiver icon and click on the GIF file and we can save it to our images. Now if we go to our photos, you can see that the GIF file has been successfully transferred. Now let's try transferring text from our iPhone to our Linux desktop. Let's find some text. So I'll go to my YouTube channel and I'll just click share and I'll copy the link. And we'll select text in the Sharik app and I'll just paste it here and I'll click send. So now I'll click the receiver icon once again to receive the text. And you can see that we have received the text. Simply click on it and we'll see all the text in our browser. You can just copy it and now we have successfully transferred over text from our iPhone to our Linux desktop. You can do this vice versa, so I can also go from our Linux desktop. For example, let's copy a small paragraph and let's transfer it to our iOS device. So just paste it and click send. And you can see that we have received the text right here. I use Sharik on a daily basis and I really recommend you using it.